Hey, so welcome back to North Fork. I'm Derek. This is Axel. Thanks for joining us today. So if you're just joining us, uh, we live in central Pennsylvania, up in the mountains. We have 68 acres. Um, we have uh, heated our house entirely with wood. Yesterday I went out and I cut this load of firewood, well, half a load of firewood. It was a standing dead ash tree. We're going to burn it this fall, or winter time, in our wood stove in the living room. And so that brings up the question about how long should you be drying your firewood? Um, if you haven't seen any of the stuff that we've done before, we, uh, we have two different sources of heat for our house. We have a wood boiler. Uh, it's an indoor wood boiler gasification unit that we burn year-round for our heat in the wintertime and domestic hot water all year long, including the summertime. And just to take the chill off in the, uh, in the living room, we have a small little wood stove, and that's what this firewood's going to be for. Last year I had, before winter time, I had three cord all split and stacked of, of short firewood and I used it all last year. Um, it was a cold winter, we were home a lot because of COVID, so we, we just ran the, the wood stove more. Again, it's just for comfort, a little, uh, take the chill off in the winter time. Um, and even those in between times in the fall and the spring when you just need a little bit of extra warmth. So I, I needed to get firewood for this, this winter. Um, so I've got two cord already cut and split, and this was a standing dead ash tree that, that uh, was down right along the road. It was easy to take down. Um, so I'm going to burn it, and we're going to check the moisture on it here and see what the moisture content is and talk about what it should be to, uh, to burn it and how long it would take to season this firewood. So whenever people talk about if firewood is ready to burn or not, a lot of times they'll talk about the moisture percentage in the firewood, how much of the, the wood still has water in it. And it's expressed as a percentage. So if you were to weigh a piece of firewood, 20% uh, of the weight might be water, and, and that would be a you know a pretty wet piece. Um, it's also used when uh, dealing with lumber and woodworking, where they they need a, a really dry wood. So they'll they'll talk about moisture percentage there as well. So I've got a couple different meters here that reads a moisture percentage in firewood. This one here is just a a, a contact type where you lay it on the piece of wood. There's there's a sensor back here that, that puts it in there and, and it'll read out the moisture percentage in the, in the wood. And this is a prong type that's got uh, two prongs on it that actually push into the firewood and we'll read the, the moisture percentage that way across the, the tips. Um, they both work. I find that this kind is a little more accurate than this contact kind, especially in firewood where you don't always have a nice smooth surface. Uh, this might work well with lumber. I haven't tried it yet where you have a nice smooth plain surface or something like that. So for firewood, I like using this prong type uh, that actually goes into the firewood to make sure you have an accurate reading. So we're going to look at two different pieces of firewood from the same tree. It was both cut last night. Uh, again, this tree was a standing dead ash tree. Uh, it's been dead for probably four or five years. And um, I cut it down last night. I split everything. So this has been split for 24 hours, but this is a piece down off the off the butt, low on the tree, uh, where the it was closer to the ground contact. If if we check the moisture percentage on that, I'll say 27% right there. Check it this way. A little different reading, around 29%. So this is still pretty wet firewood, even though that tree was standing dead for four or five years. This is pretty wet to, to burn. This is a piece of limb wood from higher up in the tree. Uh, you can see it's it's a small piece. And if we check it with that, that's reading around 11%. And again, you get a little different the way you measure it across the grain. That's 10.5% there. So the limb wood is much drier. You can you can cut and burn this right away at a 10, 11 percent. That's that's a, a good burning wood. This at, at 25 to 27, up to 30 percent, um, is not ready to burn yet. It still needs drying time. So even with standing dead trees, you still need to split them and dry them before you burn them. This wood will not burn well at 30 percent moisture. There's so 30% of the weight of the wood is water. That has to burn out before the wood can ever burn. That has to boil out of this of this log in the in the fireplace or in the wood stove before this wood will burn. And that's all moisture that goes up the chimney, can create creosote. You don't get as much heat out of it because you're you're heating up that water to burn it out. So the drier the wood is, the better it burns. So I still haven't answered the question, how long should I let this wood dry before I burn it? And the answer is that it depends. It depends on your situation. And, and in my case, I have two different types of wood burning uh, appliances in our house. Again, I have a wood boiler and I have a wood stove. My wood boiler, I want the wood to be very, very dry. So 
So I've got about 10 quart of firewood right now, which is enough for two years for the wood boiler that's drying. So I, I, ideally, I want my wood for the boiler to dry for two, if not for three years. My goal is to have three years that that wood will be split and drying under cover. So that should get me around the 10% moisture content, which is about as dry as I can get it without putting it in a kiln. Um, that'll be very dry and it'll burn very well in the wood boiler, and that's exactly what I want. For the wood stove, it's not as critical. Um, I can go with, with a, a 15 to 20% moisture content um, with, with the wood that I'm burning in the wood stove. I clean it more often. It's just for the atmosphere in the living room to make it feel nice and cozy, so I'm not really worried about how much heat I'm getting out of it. And uh, so I, I can go with a little higher moisture content. I don't want to get too high because I will get creosote up in the chimney and I don't want any chimney fires. Um, but for for what we're doing in the in the wood stove here for the winter time, you know, when I'm burning two quart, it, it's not it's not a big deal to run a, a 15 or 20 percent moisture content. Is it ideal? No. But for right now, when I need firewood to burn for the winter, um, this is what I'm going to get. So this wood will dry for about three months before I burn it, maybe four months, uh, depending on if I pull from some of the other stuff. Uh, and that should be ample enough time to take a standing dead tree and be able to burn that. Um, again, this this stuff I I did split it kind of small. The smaller that you split the wood, the faster it will dry. So th this wood will dry out pretty well over the next three or four months and it, it should probably get down in that 15 to 20 percent range. Uh, maybe I'll check it and do a review in a couple months on it to see how much it's actually dried and uh, if it is ready to burn. But you know for, for our application for in the living room it should work fine for that. I would not want to burn this after only drying four months in our wood boiler. Again, so it depends on your situation, your wood burning appliance that you're using it for. Um, if you just burn it out in the in the campfire, it doesn't really matter what it is. If you've got a wood stove, um, you know you need to be be a little more critical about it. You know, if it's your main source of heat, you're gonna want to dry that wood out a little bit better to get the to get all the the BTUs out of it that you can, the most heat value that you can out of your wood. So as I mentioned before, this is ash, and I've heard people say that you can burn green ash. So is that true or not? Can you take a live ash tree, cut it down, and burn it right away. Um, I've never tried it, but in my opinion, that you would not want to do that. Will it burn? It, it probably, you can probably get it to light and, and get it to burn, and that's why that, that has come true, is because you could cut it down and burn it right away. Is it good to burn it that way in a wood stove or in a fireplace? Absolutely not. It is, it is not good. Even if you let that dry for six months, a, a green tree, it's going to be better than nothing. But that rumor that you hear that people say, oh, you can cut down and burn green ash, that's, that's not very true. Again, this has been split for 24 hours. Uh, it's allowed it to dry out quite a bit, and it was still close to 30% uh, moisture content. And a couple of other pieces that I checked here earlier were up over that 30%. Um, so it, it's got a lot of water in it. So, yeah, you don't want to burn green wood no matter what it is, green ash even or anything like that. So if you're interested in, uh, in, in checking the moisture content and seeing how dry your wood actually is, the best way to do it is get one of these. Um, yeah, ideally you want to be in that, that 10 to 15% range. Um, even up to 20% I would say is acceptable in, in some applications. So this wood that I cut yesterday is going to be stacked here on our porch. Uh, I made this little wood rack here uh, to hold the firewood. It, it made it just to fit between here and the door and uh, works really well. I could take it down. It's just cinder blocks and some, some scrap boards that I had laying around. And I made it so that I could take it down and, and uh, you know, utilize this space in the summertime. I didn't do that this spring. Obviously, it's still up and there's a little bit of firewood here from, from last year. Um, but this is where it's going to go. And it'll dry pretty well here because it's completely under roof. doesn't get wet at all. Um, so, so it should dry out pretty well by the time that we're ready to burn it. Again, I'll probably um, check on it and maybe even do a short video of, of what the moisture content actually is after three or four months. Just so you can get a good idea. Most of the moisture that's in that is going to be just surface moisture that'll that'll dry out very quickly. Again, it was dead. Uh, most of the water was from the bottom of the rain for a couple days before that. So, so yeah, we're going to put it here on the porch and it'll dry out really well here. so that's all I've got for today. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.